hello uh, today I have a tutorial on how to make this card uh, what's special about this card is that it's made mostly with items that are meant to be used for planners for example uh, the stamp sets that I'm using here uh, one of them is called check it and the other one's called BAM notes they are both um, stamp sets to use with your planner so uh, from the check it uh, set I will be using the scribble line the dash line and this little banner here and from BAM, BAM notes I'm using you got this hustle baby and BAM and uh, to create this little pocket card here I am using the fun sleeve die set which is also made um, to be used with your planner and this is the cut that it makes as you can see it already has the uh, holes punch so you can insert in your planner and this is made with bubblegum cardstock so in order to make it fit into our card which it would fit this way but I thought it was a little too large for it so I will be cutting down this line here to get rid of the um, holes since we won't use it, be using them and also cut about maybe um, an inch or a little bit shy of an inch from the bottom and cut down this line and of course you can use your paper trimmer if you want a more precise cut but I will be just eyeballing tonight and um, probably around this much I will be cutting. Like I said, if you um, feel more comfortable using a paper trimmer, go ahead. But I think I did a okay job cutting it straight. And I think that's about... Well, I'm going to cut it just a little bit more. And I also will be trimming this section here. We have uh, this piece now. And uh, the last step is just to fold this over. So you could get the little scallop edge showing, which is really cute. And now um, I already pre-cut these two tabs that are showing through. And um, to get those, I use the Everyday die, um, die Set, and I'm using this particular um, tag. And for the card base, I use whipped cream cardstock, and it's an A2 size card, um, top folding card. So we will begin with the dash line and uh, what I found out is that um, initially I had tried it with this block because I thought it was the closest to the uh, shape and size but I wasn't getting um, a very precise um, impression. I think it was rocking too much and since this is a very thin stamp I found that um, I had better luck with the uh, block size E. I guess it gave even pressure on this on the stamp, so I had a best impression this way. So uh, for the dash lines, I will be using Grape Fusion. And the key to using these stamps are very thin is to not to press too much on the ink pad and also tap very lightly on your paper. I will suggest that uh, the first few times you try it on a scratch piece of paper so you get used to how much press pressure to use to get a good impression. Now it doesn't have to be you know extremely perfect since it's just a background and we will put um, 
the pocket card and the tags above. So if you, some of the impressions are not quite perfect, it's okay, no worries. close this up before I make a mess and for this one I will be using Beach Breeze sorry I think I was a little bit out of the range of the camera there for a second so once again the same with this one tap it lightly on the ink pad and on the paper So now that we're done with that, I want to add the words now. And the words I am doing with Outrageous Pink. And I'll start with Hustle Baby. I think these sayings are so cute. And it could be encouragement for yourself if you want to put it on your uh, planner. And in this case, it works perfectly for a card for encouragement. It could be for a friend or for a team member if you have a team under you. So it's it's a really nice sentiment. sentiment also in black licorice just kind of set it in the middle see how well they go together and these are two from two different sets and um, many more of these also fit inside the little banner if you wanted to use them so you have a lot of choices here this you will uh, fussy cut using your detail shears to save some time. I already have it ready here. I used just some regular adhesive. And uh, since we still want to put the tags in between, we want to make sure that we just glue the uh, three sides of it. Leave the top uh, without glue so you could stick them through. fun part which is decorating the pocket and to decorate the pocket I used um, several of our washi tapes that we have available uh, to begin I will use um, the electric tape which is about an inch wide but I will be only using half of the length so what I did I just make sure that half of it is on the actual paper and half of it is below the paper and I will be using my scissors a little later to cut uh, from behind just to make sure that they're even so that's the electric tape now from the Be Cool collection which is this three here I am using the one the chevron and from the Bright Day Journey Tapes, which is these two, and I have, yeah, I will be using the purple and the pink polka dot. With your grand shears, um, go from behind and these are perfectly fine to do that with since they are non-stick 
so all this washi tape will come off very easily. A banner right here and I will use a foam square to give it more dimension and just um, I actually just used one, no two, two of the small foam squares. Right here. Okay. And then one of my favorite things to use is sequins. In this case I'm using the special celebration which is like silver uh, color. And I like to kind of place them here, that way I can see the different sizes. These come in small, medium, and large inside the package. So I like to uh, mix them up whenever I um, use to embellish. And I will put a few dots. So here I use the larger one. Then a small, the medium size, and another of the large ones here. And then I like to come in with my bloom tool and just kind of press it gently to um, secure them in place. pretty much done with this one here. We're gonna let the um, sequins dry into place just for a few minutes. In the meantime, let's work on the tags. So um, for this one here, it says Hustle Baby. And I'll put it slanted kind of towards the top of the tag. there and then you got this I will uh, tilt it towards the left and more like on this side all right so um, the little shape here comes from the fam bam element and there's a lot of cool uh, designs some airplanes a woman shape a man shape a car so I'm using the woman sign and this one very simple you just put it here on top and for the um, blue one here I am using our sparkle trim and um, we have this in two colors this is the orange and the hot pink I thought this one would go great since we have a lot of pink in our card. And all I did was cut a piece like this and um, form it into like a ribbon, like a loop. And put the cross section over by where the hole is on the tag and using our mini stapler which I love to use not only it um, helps keep stuff wherever you want them to but it they also uh, give a it's a form of an embellishment by itself so it gives it a nice look and what I did to give it this look here um, once we have the pocket, we're going to see how we can put them together and then add a little bit of adhesive so they stay in this uh, way, this shape right here. What we're going to do is we're going to glue this down. And I guess I should have probably put the sequence after I glued it down. I think that's what I did on the first card, but it's okay. It should be dry enough for now. And um, I'm 
And I just used our uh, adhesive runner. And now remember, you have to leave enough room on the top for your tag. So this almost goes towards the bottom. And just kind of center it. Okay. And now, let's figure out how to put these two together. Here we go. So, maybe something like this. Okay. Maybe lower it a little bit. Just kind of place it wherever you think looks good. And then just kind of lift the blue one and put a little bit of tape and place this one down. And now both of them will come out together. And, um, the card is ready to go. So you can give this to any friend or anybody that needs a little bit of encouragement. I would love to receive this card. It's very cheery and um, full of texture and color so I'm really pleased with the card. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions please leave a comment below or you can email me to annareese at annareese.com. If you liked any of the items and you would like to purchase them please visit my website. It's www.funstampersjourney.com slash Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.